All right, yeah, man. So next up, we got um, the great climber. Yeah, man. So welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How's your day going so far? Going good, you know. All right, so Mr. Climber, um, first and foremost, you know, tell us, tell us your name, and you know. My name is Horace Callington. Horace Callington. So how did you, you know, get that the name Climber? Well, people. Before Colas Smith TV got big and wide over the world, I did so. One day and come, and we got a bush go do one video. So I said, I could climb one coconut tree. And I said, Yeah, I can climb it. And from that, I climb a coconut tree and the name does stick for me, so I just work with it. Alright. So, um, Mr. Climber, give us. Give us we, we always heard, we see on, on your channel once. You know, where you say you was going to give a little story as to, you know, your life. Um, how has life been for you? Well, people, life been rough for me, you know. Sometimes I go to bed without even eat. Sometimes I have to even look at if you don't survive for a day. Buy one bowl and a bad juice, one tap a tap and a bad juice. And what what age was, was this? That was about, um, what, six, seven at six. So so you basically say saying um you had to sell a can that at age six to yeah. survive. That's what you're saying? Yeah. So at age six. We, we, as a matter of fact, we don't even have to give us um specific, you know, location and, and those personals. Who were you living with at that time? At age um, six? I live with my mother and my stepfather at that time. So, so, so you, you, basically saying your mother allow you to, at age six, climb a aki tree, pick the aki and then go out on the road to sell it. All right, we usually pick the um, usually pick the aki, but vendor usually come in, when we come in for and buy aki, so never leave. We usually go up on you and usually come our yard gate and we give them the aki. Okay, okay. All right, so fast forward a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so we know from. The videos that you know you're living with colors right now. How did the how did all of that started? Because we know you're, you're about 16, 17 there about. Why you're not living with your parents? You know how did you ended up living with colors? All right, people. So first of all, when me reach about seven, me did live with my grandmother. That my mother, mother, live with her. My grandfather just buy grocery and then come for me. And one at a time I did it, and I never feel comfortable because I never get all of my snacks when I forget. Sometimes I do conflicts me get and I go to school, right? So, grandfather said, man, take me up. So, I lived with my grandfather for about, what, about three years. From me, about seven. About, about seven. And I lived for him when I was about 16, 15, then time there. So, colors he come here and pull up a bad face in that show, is it? So in the bad face in that show now, my day and my day and my day and I say, oh, I will go through this now. And first of all, back then, I have kind of some of them things up on my brain because my father did for me about two years old. So I have that on my brain and when I did them, I said, I'm going to hang myself. And I said, I'm going to kill myself. And I said, no, man. And he talked to me and said, I can't come live with him. And when before I go over colors, my day and some people in amazed at me say, don't go because if I go bad face, I go show. But if I do follow them, I'm moving around right now. Alright, and from your, from your live, from your been living um, with colors, how has life been? Has it been easier, harder, or, or the same? How has it been? Why people? Easy for me, you know, because then time I never have no phone, no at all. Then time I drive me. I look on the log, I buy a game and sit down and play. I know I have a game, can I sit down and play? And so it was easier for me right now. Alright, and um, how how is school going? Tell us about a little about school. Well, school going so far good, you know, but back then in about grade 7, the road right through a suspension, I get, but change, I know. So, um, are you saying, you say you usually get a lot of trouble? Um, yeah. And we all know that, you know, troublemakers usually are not the brightest. Mm -hmm. So, 
you're saying you're secular now, right? Yeah. So what is um what is your education level at this point? Well, people, you yeah, catch your back and check your name because as I do say, we do road and never originally want to go to school, but I catch your back and check your All right, as it relates to um relationships, are you in any relationship at this point? Well, right now, people, come like me, salt. You know, me come like me, salt, because one point of time, I talk to a girl, that the girl, eh? That the girl, like, me never do sick with Because right now, not even right now, I don't find any true love the same way. But, but he say find true love, because normally, normally kids your age, because they believe that not you're still a child, normally um, young, young youth your age, now I look for true love. Them just, I look for a girl where them can just be happy in the moment at the time. So are you saying that at your age, what, 17? Yeah, 17. 17. Are you saying at your age you're looking for, for true love? Or are you just want a girlfriend for the time being? So right now, I look for true love. You know? I can't bother fearing up and down. <laughs> you look for true love? Yes. So, are you aware that, not trying to discourage or come off negative, but we have to remain as true as possible? See? So, are you aware that at um, school age, actually, 99.99% of school relationships never actually work out. Yeah, I know that, but there are some we work out, you know, there are some they might come from primary school to high school and still and still married and have children. Oh, so I, so you're looking to marry and, and, and have ch kids? Yeah, from high school. Like, okay. I have a girl from high school. When I get out now, I'm older now. I can have my kids and, you know? All right, so... So we'll 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 catch up some more with you and on another episode. So big up yourself for passing through. Yeah man, big up yourself. Alright. Where's the alien? Are you ready?